so as you guys can probably see from the title, we are going to be talking about one of my personal favorite series, Artemis Fowl, and we are going to be comparing it to the sequel series to Artemis Fowl, Fowl Twins, and I'm just going to go through my thoughts on each series, and this is going to be, again, one of those more rambling type videos, as I didn't do a crazy huge script for this video, it, this is just going to be a lot of my own personal thoughts on both series and just my comparisons between the two. And this will be a very interesting video as I have not talked about the Foul Twins books yet. I do plan on doing videos on those pretty soon, so look forward to those when I start dropping those on the channel. First big difference I noticed between Artemis Fowl and Foul Twins is just the general tone of both series. Whereas Artemis Fowl takes itself slightly more seriously, Foul Twins is very much more based on the more absurd side of the series. Fowl Twins is a lot more comedic based and less character driven than Artemis Fowl. Fowl Twins, there is a lot of character focus, but there isn't necessarily a lot of character development, and I'll get to that later in the video. Our Fowl Twins is very much more rooted in the comedic side of the series. Between the villains, a lot of the comedic bits are a lot more prevalent in your face with Foul Twins, whereas Artemis Fowl, there is comedy in that a lot of the time, but it's a lot more subdued and less in your face than Foul Twins is. And a lot of that has to do with just the age range that Foul Twins and Artemis Fowl are written for. Artemis Fowl is written for a slightly older audience, whereas Fowl Twins is written for a slightly younger audience than Artemis Fowl. A big example of the more comedy based thing for the Falf twins is when you look at Lord Teddy Bleedum Dry, yes that is his name, main antagonist for the Falf twins books, he is much more the classic Saturday morning cartoon mustache twirling villain, whereas Opal Cowboy and a bunch of the other Artemis Fowl villains, they're a lot more subtle, they're still villainous, but they're a lot less like ham-fisted, in-your-face type villain. So, that's another thing where I think the series, Artemis Fowl takes itself, again, slightly more seriously than Fowl Twins does, and a lot of that comes through the comedy and how much each series focuses on its comedy. Artemis Fowl has comedy, but it's not a huge part of the series, whereas Fowl Twins, it's a lot more an important part of the series. Ultimately, I think the biggest difference between Artemis Fowl and Fowl Twins is in its character development. Starting with Miles, which is the closest to Artemis we have. Because this series is a lot lighter and slightly less intense than Artemis Fowl was, the character development shakes out slightly different. And this is very prevalent with Miles. Again, he's the closest to Artemis we have in this series. Whereas Artemis Fowl goes through this entire journey of learning to trust people and gaining a lot of friends along his journey, Miles doesn't necessarily go through that. Miles doesn't necessarily go through as extensive arc because where we end the series with Miles is basically the same place we started. There's really no intense character development that he has to go through throughout the books compared to Artemis, who has this entire personal development saga through all of the books. Not to say that Miles is a bad character necessarily, but compared to Artemis, he is such a flat character, and even Beckett, he barely has any character development. But that's not necessarily a bad thing for a book like Foul Twins, which is taking itself slightly less seriously than Artemis Fowl is. That's not to say that Foul Twins isn't worth checking out, especially if you are an Artemis Fowl fan. There are a couple of cool callback moments. They bring one character back from the previous books, which I really enjoyed. But overall, I think Foul Twins is very much more of a lighthearted, kind of funny adventure type series. Whereas compared to Artemis Fowl, it's a lot less in intense. With Artemis Fowl, he went through an entire character arc of learning to trust people and becoming a better person, whereas Bell Twins is just kind of two brothers going on cool adventures through three different books. Now, I don't necessarily think the number of books makes a big difference. You can very easily do a pretty satisfying character arc through three books, whereas Artemis Fowl had more than three books to flesh out his character arc. I don't think that's necessarily a big difference, but it's more the tone between the two book series that changes a lot 
Thank you so much for checking out the video. I know this is a slightly different format. Again, if anyone has any suggestions, leave them down in the comments and I would love to see what everyone thinks of this. If you guys want to check out my social media accounts, my Instagram and TikTok are both RM Book Reviews. My Discord is also RM Book Reviews. I will put links to everything if you guys want to check that out. And I've been posting a lot on my TikTok, stuff that isn't necessarily on my channel or on my Instagram. So I would highly recommend checking that out to see all the extra cool content I've been working on. That is going to be it for this video. Have a great week and don't forget, keep on reading everyone.